D.P. wrote, it was incontrovertibly and unmistakably the voice of God. The springs had now been opened, and now with a series of remarkable happenings, God would bring his people together, and the springs would swell into streams. Places, events and people have become milestones in the journey of the Apostolic Church. And this short documentary would not be able to give a comprehensive account of all these, but instead we will hear people share personal stories and experiences to understand how God's hand of blessing has been and continues to be on the Apostolic Church. When you stop and realise that independent people who knew nothing of each other in geographically distinct places were seeking God and worshipping Him and God somehow connected them, somehow joined their hearts, joined their minds and forged relationship because He always works out of relationship. Many who experienced the revival would later become leaders in the Apostolic Church. DP would in time become the first president of the Apostolic Church. But it's amazing that such a small place like Penegros can have such a global impact. And amazing things happened and kind of the whole, the, the structure of it formed as it went along. One thing we need to commend our, our, the founding fathers and our forebears is the fact that they, they stuck with it because um, they carried something of the revelation of God in their hearts. And uh, what they discovered then that in different places throughout the country, there were men who had received the same revelation and miraculously God linked them all together. Bradford would become the hub of a great wheel. There's a very strong thread right from the early days of, of action overseas. So D.P. Williams and the, and the various early leaders would have travelled to different countries. So D.P. Williams travelled to Latvia and India, I believe, and, and, different, and different countries. And it's through the moving the Holy Spirit in Wales at that time that when he came home, he sent for D.P. Williams to come and to speak at their uh, services here in the Victoria Street. We, we, we couldn't wait. Every year it came round in August. And at 2.15 in the morning from Crewe Station, we would catch the milk train. And when we were coming up the hill, there was a roadside penny gross. I, I remember the thrill. You turn the corner into the drive and there are flag-lined avenues, with caravans everywhere. Um, and your heart begins to beat because you love, you love penny gross. That's what really all this celebration of 100 years is about. It's not about our accomplishment over 100 years, but it's what Christ, the head of the church, has done. But we must look to new experiences in God because God never changes. And I think God comes to shake the church, to stir the church, to bring a fresh revelation to a fresh generation. I believe that in the apostolic ministry that we have in our fellowship, that uh, we can make an impact again as we did so many years ago.